the real vote will be not on adolescent immunization, but on whether to recommend a birth dose, birth dose of hepatitis B. Now, I'm strongly in favor of that. It's not a mandate, but it is a recommendation to the mother that the child be vaccinated upon birth. Now, folks say why, because the common criticism is that it's sexually transmitted. And so why would you give a vaccine to a child for a sexually transmitted uh, disease? Why? Because when the child passes through the birth canal, that child is exposed to the same secretions as if it were intercourse. And if the mother turns out to be hepatitis B positive, that child, if infected through those secretions, has a 95% chance of becoming chronically or permanently infected with hepatitis B. Instead, if you give that child a birth dose of hepatitis B vaccine, not a mandate, a recommendation, then that child has a 95% chance of not becoming chronically hepatitis B infected. By the way, since this policy has begun, the number of children who've acquired hepatitis B at either birth or shortly after birth has decreased from $20,000 20, a year to 200 a year. Uh, so, so how remarkable, all because of a recommendation. And folks say, wait a second, uh, we should know what the mother's hepatitis B status is. If you do, that's fine. But it turns out sometimes it's just missed. Uh, the, the regular OB is not there. The mama is out of town and goes to a different hospital who doesn't have access to the records or she just shows up and has not had prenatal care. That happens in a country as big as ours. This is a way to, as much as possible, make sure that when that child is born, that that child, if exposed to hepatitis B, is not chronically infected.